has caught them yet. The only remaining undefeated team in the XFL with the best offense in the league has Houston sitting pretty at 4-0. Tasked with the job of slowing them down today, the Seattle Dragons look to turn their season around and make some XFL history in the process. Yeah, I think that's, that's me. Yes, that's a good guess. Out of the garden. Here they go. Right sideline looking for Cam Phillips and nearly intercepted. Nearly intercepted. Channing Stribling. Second possession for P.J. Walker. First one didn't go so well. Ball comes out. Jockey Smith. Seattle. This is really nicely done. Just a upfield pass rush right around the hoop. Takes a little time trying to work a stutter go concept to the right. Doesn't like it. And Smith's able to get home, ripping the ball away from Walker as he's getting ready to throw the football. Excellent job by Seattle's defense creating a pass rush in these first couple drives and taking advantage. Of course, it's inside, yeah. Gardner, let's see where they spot him this time. <laughs> Daniels put his head down and scampers into the end zone on touch. Fourth and goal, Seattle goes for it, and it's Daniels into the end zone for the touchdown of the lead. And a great job by the right side of that offensive line and those tight ends and the running back. A little quarterback sweep with a boss contact. From the five. Daniels will throw for it. And missed everyone overshot Ben Johnson. Here's the blitz. It's picked up nicely. And they find a soft spot in the defense. And Sam Mobley has the catch for the second and seven. Throwing a back shoulder deal to Sam Mobley. Gonna call it a catch. The PJ Walker, Seattle, rushing four, and that's enough. That's enough to get Walker down for his career. This from 56 on the way, and no good. Usually simpler concepts. Bit of a low snap. Daniels right back to Alonzo Moore. That ball comes out, still bobbled, and Houston says they have it. Let's see if he was down. The signal is it's a lost fumble and roughnecks football. Right. All right, that's all right. Salim, he says he has the ball coming loose prior to the runner being down. Uh, his right knee is down. Uh, we're going to reverse this. We're going to put it at the 38. It will be second and one. But at the last hash, we will roll the down. Okay, his right knee was down? His right knee was down. Thank you. After further review, the runner's right knee was down prior to losing possession. It will be second and one. Bingo, bingo, go! Daniels from under center. Here's Trey Williams. Has the first down. Big run for Trey Williams. Who wanted to snap it, just got it away. Rushing four. Able to complete the shift at the head up to the right. Trey Williams turns the corner. Touchdown, Seattle. 17 yards for the score. The Dragons came in as an 11 and a half point underdog. And they lead 12 0 and looking for more. It's a great job here, just a split zone. You see the tight end working away, but the running back hitting it play side, making the guy miss in the open field and finding the corner. I gotta do it, I gotta do it for my mom, I gotta do it for my, for my family. Motivation, it's still right. Look at the middle of the two. <laughs> really? All over it. Walk the throwing, got a man on the flat, Khalil Lewis has some running room still on his feet. And he's out beyond the 40, longest offensive play to gain a 20. Third and one from midfield. Nice seam for Nick Holly. He's going to keep running. Running away from people. Nick Holly, middle of the field, end zone, touchdown. 50 yards for the score. No concern whatsoever for 
Houston right back in the game. You're going to see two defenders actually bust. You're going to see two guys running with the out route right here, which allows Hawley to work on an inbreaker. And he's wide open. Look at those two defenders running with the flat. Hawley's wide open. And the guy that's done it all throughout the three point plays, two of four on the season. Here's Walker to throw for it. All sorts of time. And it's juggled and knocked away. <laughs> Absolutely. Tim Bay's looked like a different team the last couple of weeks. Deep shot. Sam Mobley on the receiving end. And P.J. Walker made it rain with that football. Huge high arc for 41 yards. Man, a great job by P.J. Walker, but a better job by Mobley on these vertical routes. Oftentimes, you'll see these wide receivers get too close to the sideline. Right there, Mobley, it's exactly what he executed there by throwing it nice. Both teams have their full complement of timeouts. Blake Jackson makes the grab. Inside the five and down to the two. For the strong. Second down and goal. It is team. Both of them running room leaping over people into the end zone. For the touchdown for Houston. That's a 90-yard touchdown drive by the Roughnecks. The board, too. You see that little, that shin is down right there. That's a good job by the replay booth. It did look initially as though that ball did cross the plane prior to that shin being down, but clearly from that angle, you see that shin down and the ball is still just a little bit short. Right up the middle and through everyone. James Butler, he's going back for the again. celebration. <laughs> That's two for the price of one. Receiving end of that two-point conversion. Texan, now it breaks down. Daniels runs up and pops it over the linebacker to Austin Kroll. And that's what B.J. Daniels can do for you in a snapshot. Six so far from what Seattle's thrown at Houston on offense. Walker intercepted. Picked off its mark. Sideline fires. Will be tripped up. Will he get there? They have mark him short. Marco Myers nearly got there. It's a 52 yard return. I think he needed 52 and a half for the pick six. And here's Myers. Is he there? He's so close. Gather, gather. Man, it looks like he kept himself up. And P.J. Walker's the one who makes the tackle. And he about, does everything. Yeah, I mean, that's just a great job by Myers reading the quarterback's eyes. As the quarterback basically took it right to him. I mean, if you look at P.J. Walker. First down and goal from inside the one. story of the game. Houston number one of the XFL and turnover margin coming in. They are minus two today at math. Absolutely. Good. Throwing it for Alonzo Moore and he couldn't get to the spot. Seattle is up by nine. Here's Walker. Deep shot. Has Cam Phillips. It's a beauty of a ball and a big catch. We'll see where they mark him at a bounce. like that the Roughnecks are back in business beautiful throw too absolutely beautiful PJ Walker he recognizes looks at that safety depart turning his back to Cam Phillips Cam Phillips wins on the go route and leaves him plenty of space to throw it. put your team in a hole make a play to get him right back into it on the ground here's Butler wow all sorts of time he does a pirouette into the end zone touchdown and right into the the man can read the sign. Expecting to work play side. From the 10 for the tie. 
Walker back of the end zone, too high. On third and nine. Didn't get rid of it when he could have. Daniels is driven back by Gabe Wright. Dan we on kickoff. I got a D lineman running out on kickoff, making a play behind the 20. That excite me. That get me going. Guys. Nine. Nine means deep. <laughs> Walker has time. Put it up in the air. That's a 50 50 ball. And Jordan Martin says he has it. The officials will discuss. Still waiting for a signal from the two officials. And they're going to say incomplete. Trey, you there? I'm with you, Celine. So the defender gets possession of the ball, foot down, and maintains control throughout the process. This is an interception. After further review, the defender completed the process of the catch and maintained firm control all the way to the ground. It'll be Seattle's ball, first down. Wow, how about that turn of events? Third turnover of the day. Underneath if he's got him. Big shot in the back. Nickens to snap it here. Get it away. What's coming? Picked up. It is caught. Touchdown. Cam Phillips. And for the first time all afternoon, with 9.03 to go in the fourth quarter, in the five for a five-point lead. Here's Walker. And he'll be swung down. That was a disaster from the beginning. Second and two. So you have to take a shot here. Indeed he does. Walker wants his man, Sam Mobley. And he's got him. The catch at the 33 of Seattle. Gain of 25. Walker melting that play clock all the way down. Wants to throw for it. Steps up and fires. It's Phillips. Down by the goal line. season for Cam Phillips, the XFL leader. Obvious four down territory. Daniels wanted to run with it. The ball came out. And Houston says they have it. You all, you all. Back out. Back out. Back out. Get your teammates and back them out. Get your teammates and back them out. Who else? Demarcus Gates. Right, what's the fuck? <laughs> On the ground. There's your ball game, the first down. Let's see how he explains and it here. Hey, uh, PJ, throw it over their bench. And that's how the game. And there, I mean, talk I can tell, there's I can zeros tell. on the scoreboard clock. But it looked like when he went down to clear himself down, there was one second left. Yeah. So that is a very real possibility. They might have a first and 10 from the 22 with one second left. That's amazing. Don't go anywhere. Somebody should tell the officials that. The officials are heading for the locker room. See if the replay booth wants to help out on, on this. And look. Four, three, down right there. Two seconds, seconds left. left. We're appreciating you doing that. the 20 yard line. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is this is insane. Somebody's got to go get the officials. What's your name? Nice to meet you. This is unbelievable.